Congratulations on your purchase of the versatile, easy-to-use Multimatic 255 Multi-Process Welder. And thanks for choosing Miller. With your Multimatic 255, you can count on years of trouble-free, multi-purpose, multi-process welding. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Multimatic 255 and remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. To increase mobility, the Multimatic 255 can be mounted on a running gear. To do this, simply set the feet of the welder in the pockets on top of the running gear. Rotate the four latches into the vertical position to secure the running gear to the machine. Tighten all four latch retaining knobs to secure the machine to the running gear. To remove the machine, reverse the process. Loosen the four latch retaining knobs and rotate all latches to disengage the machine. The new Easy Latch running gear is designed with our bottle forward technology to keep the gas cylinder secure and stable when the machine is on or off the running gear. Now let's become familiar with your new Multimatic 255 through a quick overview of the machine's key features. You'll learn to properly set up the Multimatic 255 for MIG, stick, and DC TIG processes for a variety of metal applications. For your convenience, you will also find a parameter chart inside the door, a handy reference that's available for a variety of projects. Let's begin with a quick overview of the Multimatic 255 features. Your Multimatic 255 comes ready to connect to common 208 to 575 volt single phase power thanks to Miller's exclusive AutoLine technology. AutoLine allows for any single phase voltage hookup with no manual linking, providing convenience in any job setting. Consult the owner's manual for proper power hookup procedures. Power up your machine by turning on the power switch located on the front panel of the machine. Now let's look at the interface, starting with the Auto Set Elite feature. The Auto Set feature makes setup quick and easy. No matter what process and material you choose, you can use Auto Set to set your Multimatic to the proper welding parameters. Let's demonstrate how the interface works. First, select the welding process that you will be using. Next, turn the Auto Set feature on by pushing the Auto Set button. When the Auto Set mode is on, the Auto Set button will illuminate and the process selection information will appear on the bottom of the screen above the buttons. Depending on which process you choose, use the two left buttons below the screen to choose material and gas in MIG, electrode type for stick, and remote on-off and DC TIG. Left button scrolls to the left, right button scrolls to the right. For easy reference, after the selection is made, the display will show the proper cable hookups for all processes and recommended shielding for MIG. Use the middle button to set your wire diameter for MIG, electrode size for stick, or tungsten diameter for DC TIG. Then input the material thickness using either of the two buttons on the right. It's just that easy. Auto Set adjusts your machine to a weldable parameter. Auto Set Elite allows you to fine-tune your parameters to the precise settings you prefer. Should you choose to fine-tune parameters, simply tweak the controls for voltage and wire feed for MIG or amperage for stick or DC TIG. The factory default settings are represented by the bullseye. By turning Auto Set off, you can operate your machine in manual mode. Use the left knob to control the voltage in MIG mode and the right knob to adjust wire feed speed in MIG and amperage in stick or DC TIG mode. Refer to the parameter chart located inside the door for suggested starting parameters. Operators can also customize their weld setting and activate weld timers in the manual mode by pushing the setup button. Refer to the setup video or your owner's manual for more information. To help you set up gas and polarity for the machine's multiple options, your Multimatic 255 features an intuitive color LCD screen. The screen will prompt you to use the proper gas type and polarity settings for your process. The LCD screen flags common issues, along with providing prompts for loose or improperly installed cables. Best yet, it's easy. The Multimatic 255 offers understandable word and symbol prompts, not numerical codes you need a manual to interpret. 
The new Multimatic 255 now has MIG and DC TIG pulse capabilities. Pulsed MIG is a spray transfer that produces less heat input than a conventional spray weld, resulting in less spatter, warping, and distortion. Pulsed MIG is also very popular for MIG welding aluminum. Pulsed DC TIG also provides less heat input. A low-speed pulse can help with the timing to add filler material to create a consistent ripple pattern, or a high pulse frequency can increase travel speed and penetration. The Multimatic 255 has the capability to save four weld settings for each process. To save a weld setting to a program, starting from the manual mode, push the Programs button. You will see the four white program tabs above the buttons. Choose where you would like to save the weld settings. Push and hold that program button you choose for two seconds, like a car radio. The display will show Saved when the program is successfully saved. To recall the program, simply push the Program button. The selected Program tab will turn blue and the saved settings will be displayed. Finally, let's review gas setup requirements. Your Multimatic 255 is designed for external gas cylinders. For this demonstration, we are securing the bottle to the running gear, but it could also be securely fastened to a wall or stationary support. When securing the bottle to the running gear, Set the bottle in the cylinder rack and secure the bottle to the running gear with the safety chain. To attach the gas to your machine, remove the cap and stand to the side of the valve. Open the valve slightly to allow the gas to blow away any dust or dirt from the valve. Install the regulator so that the face is vertical. Then connect the hose to the regulator and tighten with a wrench. Connect the MIG gas to the MIG solenoid and the 100% argon gas hose to the TIG solenoid on the back of the machine. When adjusting the flow, remember that a typical flow rate is 20 to 30 CFH. Now that you've got the basics, let's take a look at the individual setups required for your specific MIG, stick, and DC TIG welding applications.